a count on two investigation. Federal agents say any time the government injects cash or any kind of stimulus, there will be people who take advantage of that. Yeah. And the prosecutions of some of those cases are underway. Count on two investigator Brad Franco found out what you can do to keep your money safe. South Carolinians accounted for more than 70,000 Paycheck Protection Program loans, totaling $6 billion. And as expected, not all of them are on the up and up. Sometimes the numbers just don't add up. Deputy U.S. Attorney for South Carolina, Derek Shoemake, says the numbers didn't add up for at least $12 million that investigators already identified as fraudulent, and they've recovered a little more than $3 million of those assets. That's a small number relative to the $6 billion, which tells us one thing, that most people are doing the right thing. But when we see people doing the wrong thing, we are going to come after them swiftly and with the full force of our office. Last year, former U.S. Attorney Peter McCoy established the South Carolina COVID strike team to investigate fraud related to COVID. By March, the office received more than 150 cases. Among them, a man from Roundo who's awaiting sentencing after pleading guilty to conspiracy to steal personal protective equipment from the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center in Charleston. He faces up to five years in prison. Another case involves seven people charged with laundering more than $750,000 of fraudulently obtained money, including nearly 400 grand in PPP cash. Two of those three suspects from South Carolina already admitting their guilt. This is not private entity money. This is our money. This is taxpayer money. This is government money. And it's their job to protect it. Attorney David Ayler is involved in other cases related to PPP fraud, and he says the strike team is aggressively pursuing and prosecuting the offenders. He says in general, people thought they would actually get away with their crimes. In this situation, people thought that because of the amount throughout the United States of businesses that were going to be submitting for PPP loans, that they could fly under the radar. But I think generally what happens is some people just see the money and greed takes over. You know, someone gets 50,000 legitimate dollars, things are a little tough, and they say, well, you know, I can just get 10,000 more dollars to tide me over. And, it, and by, by the time that process is complete, this person is defrauded the government out of $350,000. But while they won't be able to catch all of them, Shoemake says speed is the name of the game when it comes to recovering taxpayer money. He says tips from the public are a huge help in that end. They have a website and a tip line set up, so if you have any information that can help, you can go to our website, countonto.com. we got a link set up there for you. Brad Franco, Count On 2.